All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. Much the same as it was this time last year, the Letcher Fiscal Court is facing a more than $1 million budget shortfall. In a special meeting today in Whitesburg, the court took action, approving the sale of seven pieces of excess property the county owns and approving the sale of timber on two other pieces of county-owned property. But before the action was taken, which could put a three dollars to $400,000 dent in the county's projected $1.3 million budget shortfall, shots were fired from several directions about who or what is to blame for the county's budget troubles. And, and you know, I know you hate the rec center. I don't hate the pole sale. I don't hate the rec center. And that's fine. We can't afford the rec center. We couldn't afford it when we built it, and we can't afford it now. That's not true. I, no, I'm not going to cut it now. I'm going to. And, and, and my idea is everything wasn't no good a few months ago. You do it now. You do it now. It ain't my job. It's our job, White. It is our job. You help us get in this mess, you help us get out. As part of the discussion about the budget, the court discussed the proposed 6% insurance premium tax, which was defeated by a tie vote during a meeting Monday. County Judge Executive Jim Ward said the insurance tax is one of three options the court has, and the court will have to act quickly in deciding what action to take. What is needed to avoid cuts, he said, is a long-term revenue source. Some of what we've done today is a short-term for our short-term budget uh, shortfall. But now, we, we got to have a long-term uh, budget uh, revenue source for the long-term. Okay, yes, Coal Severance, they're talking about it coming back a little bit. I don't think it'll ever be to the level it was. Ward said the court will likely meet again next week and several more times, if needed, over the next several weeks in order to balance the budget. So we have to figure this out now, and we will meet daily, Every other day or whatever that I see fit that we need to do to get this solved. If not, our local government will shut down. Reporting in Whitesburg for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson. <laughs>